You guys are incredible, and this video is going to help encourage you and bring more peace and courage and love and joy to your life. And if that's something you've been seeking, consider tagging along for the story I'm going to share with you guys today. That's going to uplift you and show you that you are amazing, and that you have a story and life lessons and things that you've learned and things you've gone through that you can use to teach you and teach and to grow you. And that's what this video is about. I wanted to bring you guys along with a story about my life and just about different things and life lessons and how it can help improve your life. Give you some encouragement and show you that you are incredible. You do have a purpose. And something I have been feeling lately is kind of feeling down and stressed about life and, and school. And uh, I'm a junior this year uh, in high school and coming up during my senior year next year i graduate year 2024 in june that year and there's so much that you can worry about and focus on about the future about the unknowns and i'm sure you guys have felt that and i've been feeling that recently and just trying to figure out ways to release that stress and release that worry and really focus on the present mo present moment while also creating a plan for the future that's something that i've been working and striving for you know there's a lot of young people nowadays gen z young millennials young adults that have these ambitious goals and dreams uh, financially they want to have stable income they want to have stable investments and portfolio full of different assets that they can have uh, to their name and that's something i'm working towards as well and being young you can be so ambitious but that can also cause a lot of stress and strain on your life and i'm not saying that's true for everyone but i know i felt that and it's been something that's been kind of weighing me down on my shoulders a little bit and i've needed to pray about that to god because it's something that you have to deal with and have to face and there's so much potential you have. There's so much abundance in your life that you can acquire, right? But if you keep focusing on the stress and about places where you're stuck at, instead of trying to actively find solutions and ways to get out of your rut, you know, you're going to keep staying stuck. And that's kind of where I felt lately in the past couple of years of my life is there's so much that i want to achieve so much that you guys want to achieve but sometimes i feel like they're I, i'm being held back by some really close people in my life especially uh, family some friends people at school and just trying to find ways to reel back my worries and really focus on the present moment as something i've needed to learn and what does it mean to focus on the present moment? What, what does that mean? Why is that important? And how is that going to help anything, right? How is that going to help with the stress? How is that going to help with the worry? How is that going to help prepare me, me for my future, right? These are all good questions that maybe some of you guys have been thinking about. But the something that could maybe bring some value, bring some light to your life is that God loves you. Right, and I don't know how many of you guys are, are Christians or faith-based, but that's something that's really been my foundation and kept me strong through all of this, other than having close people to keep accountable towards and help me keep accountable to myself. And it's just that core, that rock in my life, that rock on the mountaintop, right, on the, on the hilltop. Right, he, the Lord is there for you and for me and for all of us, right? This morning on our church service, we were talking about in the book of Joshua and how there is, you know, he goes through different things in his life, but one of the things our main pastor was talking about is instead of focusing on, on the world, focusing on the political things of the world, the they, them, the meaning just referring every referring to everything else and every you know, everything else in the world instead changing our perspective on the outward things but focusing on 
creating solutions. It's a three words, and it's me and us, and then we is what it was, I believe. And there, there's so much that you have the potential to achieve. And you are, are, are so, so loved. And oh, so the, the three word sequence is actually me, you, and us. Sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves, to focus on the man or the woman in the mirror, right? We tend to focus on helping everyone else instead of focusing on caring for ourselves. And caring for other people is super important and something that we need to learn to to do in our lives but at the same time if you empty your cup and keep emptying your cup and helping giving to others and not allowing god to fill you up during that process then you're going to start to burn out and that's what i felt a little bit recently is trying to figure out ways to fill my ambitions and the life that i want to have and follow god's purpose for the gifts for my life while also trying to use those to serve others and by those experiences and social and emotional and spiritual support to other people there is a balance there is a life that you are meant to live and people you are meant to help and a legacy you are meant to live and you can either let that all go and focus on all the worries the stress the things you have in school work life after school activities or different ambitions and things you have and get caught up in the rat race of trying to be like everybody else follow the the path that everyone has been going because you want to you feel like maybe you're being held back in life like you're not achieving as much as you want in your life as you would like to in the time frame that you want but i would need to remind you guys that not everything happens in your own timing but god's timing right maybe something didn't happen in your life or something did happen in your life for good reason and maybe it's not good right now for you but maybe the thing you're going through right now is teaching you a lesson or it kept you from getting into a worse situation than the one you're in now maybe the things that you're going through now are meant to not only teach you a lesson but also provide you strength and a set of core values and things to help teach you and you can use those as part of your story to teach others and maybe even create a revolution or create ways to provide emotional social and spiritual support to people that are struggling with the same things you went through or you're facing right now and you can really be that beacon of light that beacon of hope that beacon of love that god has placed you on this earth to be and sometimes i feel like we can all be myself included be held captive by our past and by the things that have been worrying us and i wanted to bring the story to you guys and the reason i share all this is because you are all worth it you all have a purpose and you all have light and that's the message i'm trying to share to you and i want to start a revolution i want it not not just throughout the world but if you want to create a revolution you want to create an impact throughout the world sometimes you need to focus on yourself and that was the message in the the church service today focusing on the book and sometimes you need to focus on yourself Sometimes you're going to need that social support to help both of you grow. But if you want to help other people grow, you're going to need to allow yourself to work on yourself as well, right? And maybe that's not always easy to do. Maybe you don't know where to start. I'd say the easiest way to start is focusing on, you know, your life today. You have gifts, you have breath in your lungs. You're here on this earth for a reason, right? You know, you woke up another day, not just because you're not old, not just because you're not making decisions that, you know, aren't gonna hurt you in your life, right? You are alive, you're here for a reason. And so you gotta cherish every day. Even if it feels like life is going good, or even if life's going bad, you're alive today for a reason. You can use your story and your experiences to help teach you a lesson. You can use your your experiences, situations that you've been through, you're facing right now, and use those as a stepping stone or a branch to the next season in your life. And 
that's what I want to encourage you guys about. Is believe. I don't want you guys to realize you're loved. You're so beautiful, not only outwardly, but inwardly, in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit. You're so much love inside you. Maybe there's been some some evil or hatred or discouragement inside you that's been holding you back from achieving your potential in the life that you're meant to have. And I'm sorry, right? Life's tough, right? But you, you, you have the opportunity. guys on a little story and we're gonna keep going around walking around and seeing where this goes we decided to go on this spinny thing thing that goes around saya swinging saya that goes around and around and around today let me go around we go around go around town so so profound <laughs> hey what's up guys <laughs> so I know we're kind of talking about what we're talking about, and I wanted to really remind you guys that you are so special, you're unique, you are powerful, and you are a light in this world. And sometimes maybe that light's been ripped away from you. It's been it's been shut down. Maybe water was thrown on it, and you know someone someone made your fire go out, right? Made your spirit go down. Made you worry spike up, right? And just remember that you are loved. And you are way up there in the sky. And you guys have so much love inside your heart. But I want to remind you. I don't want to keep saying this. Because just as messy as my hair is, <laughs> your life may be messy as well. In different ways. In different people. Maybe people will hurt you discouraged you maybe you've discouraged yourself because you don't know how to handle situations going on in your life maybe you don't know the next steps to take in your life right maybe there's people that have let you down or you've let down yourself maybe you've had all these commitments and dreams and goals but you've gotten older and those have just been taken away from you by the responsibilities of your life that you do you know growing older going to college getting a house job family kids career traveling set on down whatever that is there's things maybe as you get older that you don't start to chase your dreams as much you just don't start to chase your future as much as you wanted to maybe the point where you're at in your life now is not where you want to be but that doesn't mean you have to stay there that doesn't mean you have to keep staying where you're at right and you can make a change and you might be thinking well i've tried to change you know it's been tough you know i've had trouble trying to change my life because there's been some people in my life that have felt like I can't change feel like I can never live up to the you know their standards feel like I can never do things right and I feel like there's they're they're always trying to get on to me about the littlest things and it's because I love you right the most people in your life that are really on you a lot it's because they love you maybe it doesn't feel like that but it's true and that also means that Maybe not everyone in your life is the best person, but something that I've learned from someone close in my life is that you're gonna take things from your parents, your family, your siblings, your friends that you're gonna wanna use in your life and in your future. And you can take the little bits and pieces of what really helps your life and what you wanna adapt and apply to your own families and your own life and career. And it's really your life. Right. I would encourage you guys to you know, let go, let God take control, but also take control of your own life and understand that the people around you can have a huge impact on you. Right. I feel like the, a lot of you guys know the five people you hang around the most is who influences you a lot and has a lot of impact on you. But I feel like a lot of you guys don't, myself included, don't realize how true and how grand that actually is. And that's something we can all work on, right? But focus on the, the one thing in closing here, guys, is you guys all have a purpose. You guys all have talents. And I, I want to encourage you guys to have the self-awareness of 
the things that are going on in your life, everything that's happening to, uh, to you or for you is meant to teach you something. It's to help curate and you know make your story what it is. And you have the power to write a new chapter, write the next chapter, write your own book, write your own story. And there's gonna be ups and downs, but that creates the best story, right? If there's no hard times, you know, maybe you're not gonna have the best story, right? But ups and downs mean you are going somewhere. You could use your story to be a light, a beacon of light and hope for other people. And that's my message for you guys today is to take what you're experiencing and use it to influence and encourage other people around you online, through your businesses, through everything that you have the potential to do. You can start now, start today, start with your community. I love you guys. Hey guys, I want to encourage you to share this video with somebody that you really love and care for and can really this video can have an impact on them in their life and i want to remind you guys that you are beautiful you're talented you have a purpose and god-given talents that you've been gifted with and you could either let those go to waste or and go to the cemetery or you could start today you could start now you could start to make the change that this world needs of you and you could be letting other people down that you don't even know they could be random people strangers people that you know that you could be impacting but the reason that you won't be impacting them is because you're not taking action because you're scared because you're worried and it's fine to not know the next step to take but it's not okay to not make a move so in closing remember share the love share the light share your story and be a beacon of light and hope for the people around you right so i hope this encourages you guys and I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day, your evening, your night, your week, your weekend. And I love you guys so much. Share this video with somebody who needs it. Subscribe, follow wherever you're watching this. And just I hope that to bring you guys some extra value and help you spread the light to people around you. If you guys want, you can check out my store, that my Shopify store, and check out some different products that have a lot the message of be the light on it and you can go around and what be the light means is to share your gifts and talents each and every one of you has a story to share and you can have some of this merch have some of these products to help spread that hope and people can ask you questions of hey what is be the light what does this mean this could start conversations this could start connections this can form groups of people that can be impacted for the better betterness of their life and you could be that hope and you could start today because you are incredible and god has so much planned for you but you need to start taking action so hope this helps love you guys have an amazing 